going to be our introduction video on Hex Education, the YouTube channel. So as many of you know, Christian and myself um, do a radio show on Block Talk called Hex Education. Well, we've decided to experiment. Uh, Christian got some new toys, and as you can imagine, they're top of the line. So we're going to be experimenting with some different YouTube channels. Um, the first one is going to be, well, one YouTube channel, Hex Education. That's going to be the, the overall umbrella. And we're going to do different um, shows. We're going to do um, guest interviews, just like on the radio show. I'm going to be doing some segments on British traditional witchcraft and probably posting them in my group. And then we're going to be doing some things together. And you are going to be... Well, I'm going to be doing uh, different shows on practical application of magic such as you know how to use candles and oils and incenses and some of the products we use and Brian and I will go into the store together and introduce some of the things we sell and explain you know how they might be used also of course we're going to be doing walking with the warlocks well I think we're going to do more than walking we'll still call it walking with the warlocks or walking with the warlock um, we might be grilling with the warlocks yeah but we'll still call it walking with the warlocks because uh, if you ever saw on our Facebook for a while, we were doing just these videos and I was taping them on the phone and we would be walking with friends over and just having a good time. So, um, I don't know, I suppose sometimes you did talk about the magical properties of water chestnuts, but overall it was just fun. Stir fry is so. very powerful. You know, heat is quite magical. So that's just for comic relief. Uh, people really liked it, so we thought we'd carry it on to the... Well, I mean, I think a big part of what we're going to do also is, you know, everyone knows we travel a lot and we want to bring this Osmo camera, which you're not really seeing now, but what makes it really spectacular is that when you take it on the road, it self-adjusts and balances so it doesn't look all Blair Witch Project. You know? And so we're going to be able to go to uh, sacred sites and magical places and also to some of the shops around town in New Orleans to speak to their owners and, and, and people that work there to help you understand some of what they sell and, and offer uh, because this really is one of the most magical cities in the world you know and we'll also be bringing this to Salem I was just gonna ask are we bringing this to Salem yeah I won't have time at the witch's ball to cart it around but oh, I he'll make time his he's, you know he's going to well I'm I, I'll see where <laughs> I can what I can do with it but uh, we're definitely going to be uh, using it at uh, Lori Cabot's Witch's Ball. We talked to Penny Cabot and uh, we'll be doing some talking to people there and uh, just some really having fun living our lives and, and, and really letting people into our world. And you know these will improve over time. I, I don't really like these lightings. I yeah, we're still playing with the camera and um you know, we may not always be dressed in attire like this because we don't hang out at the pool in, in eye makeup. However, um, before we go, we're getting ready just now to go to our annual um, Halloween parade in New Orleans called Mercy for um, the Magic that was put together by um, our good friend Marita Crandall who runs the Vampire D. Boutique de Vampire. I always say it wrong. The I'm only sorry. vampire yeah. shop in America. They are very, very cool. She also helped develop the vampire wine that you might have tasted before. These lights that we have on there are on board and they're to do more on location shots. So I will be, you know, the next big spend, I gotta watch those credit cards, you know, but the next big spend will be uh, something for better lighting. But it's also daytime and I think some of the light from other areas are affecting it as well. So. You know, I'm going to be figuring out how to control all these little aspects like I do. But the sound should be good. We've got this great little boom mic. I don't know how great it is, but we'll find out soon enough. All right. So anyway, we're going to say adieu, and we will talk to you all soon. We will probably see you next Saturday because we're going to try to get down and film some of New Orleans' Pagan Pride Day. Talk to you soon, and blessings to all.